Nanashi no game, Nanashi no jimu, Nanashi no jimu, lit. Nameless game, or the game with no name, is a first person survival horror video game developed by Epix and published by Square Enix for the Nintendo DS. The game follows a university student who becomes cursed by the titular role playing game, which causes people to die in seven days upon starting. It was released on July 3, 2008, in Japan. A sequel, titled Nanashi no Game, Me, was later released on August 27, 2009 in Japan, followed by another sequel in 2012. Gameplay Nanashi no Game involves two separate modes of play. Most of the game takes place in the real world, where the player navigates real-time 3D environments using the DS's D-pad and touch screen. While exploring, the player must solve puzzles and reach locations. The player can switch to the TS menu at any time, where they can play the cursed game, read email messages, and load a previous save file. In many cases, an email message or update to the cursed game will interrupt the player's exploration. In the Cursed game, which only uses the top DS screen, the player controls a 2D 8-bit RPG that provides clues to the current situations and can, in some cases, advance the story. Partway into the game, the player will encounter regrets, rugure rugure, zombie-like spirits that roam the area in exploration mode. If a regret comes into contact with the player, it is game over. Regrets take several roles in the game, from standing guard at stationary posts to actively chasing or attempting to scare the player. In some situations, the cursed game provides clues for bypassing regrets in a given situation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot. An urban legend has been circulating about a nameless, cursed role-playing video game for the fictional twin-screen handheld game system. According to the rumor, anyone who plays this cursed game and does not complete it within seven days will die. The player assumes the role of a college student at Nanto University, Tokyo. The player has started playing the cursed game, sent to them by classmate Fumahito Odaka, Wei Gao Wen Ren Odaka Fumahito, who has been absent recently. Riko Nagasawa, Zhang Zhe Li Z Nagasawa Riko, Odaka's girlfriend requests that the player go to Odaka's apartment. The player obliges, but makes a horrific discovery, Odaka has mysteriously died of drowning, with his TS system in his hands. The player also discovers that Odaka hadn't sent the game to the player, as he was trying to stop it from spreading and killing others. The next day, a distressed Rico dies on the Nanto Express subway, having received the cursed game six days before the protagonist. On the player's third day, Nanto University professor Huki Uyama, Dashan Faji Oyama Huki, calls the player to his office. An IT expert on digital information with an interest in folklore, Uyama confirms that a killer curse is a very real possibility, and sees the nameless game as an opportunity to conduct research on its mysteries. He first directs the player to investigate Jikyu General Hospital, CG Zong Hei Bing Yuan Jikyu Sogo Bayan, the abandoned location of the cursed game's domain. Partway through, Uyama has the player look for a medical chart for Shin Yutani, Tangu Shen Yutani Shin, a man who died in a similar fashion to Odaka. The player soon discovers that they are being pursued by spirits devoid of eyes or mouth, and discovers Rico as one of them. Rico's spirit appears after the player obtains Yutani's chart and receives a disturbing game update, and chases them out of the hospital. On the fourth day, Professor Uyama and the player learn that Yutani was the president of a video game company called UTA Soft, located on the fourth floor of the Nakano Broadway Center. Zhang Yi Buro Duezenta Uyama directs the player there, warning them to avoid the spirits, which he dubs regrets, while exploring. Along the way, Uyama sends the player information on UTA Soft, including the fact that the company has gone bankrupt, with most of its workers missing and presumed dead. At the abandoned office, the player collects various pieces of information, including a plan for the unnamed game and an employee roster, before escaping the regrets. On the fifth day, Uyama finds that only one person from UTA Soft is still alive, Yushio Ikuda, Shengtian Chao Ikuda Yushio, the creative director of the unnamed game. The player travels to the abandoned Ikuta residence, where they find a near-catatonic Yushio in the closet. 
almost immediately after, a game update takes the player into a flashback of events inside the house. Yutani, constantly stressed from work and jealous of Ikuda's love for his family, brutally murdered his wife Tomoka while Ikuda was at work. Ikuda's daughter Asahi, who hated video games as they kept Ikuda from spending time with the family, came home to find an indescribably bloody scene, with Yutani splattered in blood and grinning madly. Luckily, Asahi was able to escape the house before Yutani could catch her as well. After the vision ends, Ikuda utters Asahi's name, and gives the player her picture diary. On the sixth day, Uyama explains to the player that after Tomoka's death, Ikuda continued to work on the cancelled game, angering Asahi into running away from home. From the information in the diary, Uyama guesses that Asahi may have gone to the Capeside Misaki Hotel, Misaki Hotaru Misaki Hotaru. He directs the player there, telling them he would meet them there later. When the player finds Asahi's body there, she communicates to the player through the game, asking why they came for her despite her attempts to kill them, before vanishing. The player leaves the hotel to meet with Uyama, but is forced to flee upon making a shocking discovery. Uyama has been turned into a regret, most likely from freezing to death. Asahi again communicates to the player, declaring that her actions were to avenge her mother, and that she will never forgive her father, video games, or even the player. Later, a delayed email message from Uyama asks the player what the drawing in Odaka's apartment stood for. Realizing that it was the Seven Capes Lighthouse, Chi Ji Chi Deng Tai Nana Saso Sake Todai, located nearby, the player heads there. On the seventh and last day, the player arrives at the lighthouse. There, they learn that Asahi is the true source of the game's curse, having committed suicide by jumping from the top of the lighthouse. The player then heads for the nearby cliff depicted many times in the Cursed Game to reach Asahi before daybreak, in three minutes. Along the way, they must speak to the now harmless spirits of the curse, in reverse chronological order, through the Cursed Game. Uyama's spirit explains that he became a regret because he wanted to see what would happen if one received the game, but never played it. Having received the game one day before the player, that makes Uyama another victim. Uyama explains that he now understands Ikuda's reason for working on the nameless game, to show that video games can be used to show someone how much they love them. After talking with Riko, Odaka, and the three missing UTA soft employees, the player speaks to Yutani, the curse's first victim. Acknowledging that he was the reason the curse began, by murdering Asahi's mother, Yutani tells the player to speak with Asahi and help her realize what she had in terms of family and love. When the player communicates to Asahi, they show her the happy memories that she and her family shared. Suddenly, Tomoka's spirit appears through the game, telling Asahi that she is sad that her daughter had died, and also closed her heart. When Tomoka mentions Ikuda directly, the player finds Ikuda standing next to them in the real world, having been led here by Tomoka's spirit. He explains his good intentions for creating the game, and apologizes to Asahi. In the game, Asahi responds, saying, Papa, Papa lit, Daddy, and the scene fades to white, before returning to the player, sitting at the cliff and very much alive. Ikuda, who notices the player, asks if they have met before, the player confirms this, before asking how the nameless game ends. Ikuda, taken aback by the player's interest, decides to complete the game's story to make amends to his family. Afterward, the game credits play, revealing the name of the nameless game, Road to Sunrise. Topic. Endings The game has two different endings, depending on whether the player obtained all of the special items found in the nameless game. If the player obtains every single item, they will unlock the good ending, otherwise, they will receive the bad ending. Good ending, after the nameless game fades to white, the player will see Asahi's spirit, now smiling with gratitude, before she passes on. The scene returns to the player, who bids her farewell, before Ikuda speaks to them. After the credits, the player receives a message from Asahi. Thank you. Indicating that her curse has been broken. Bad ending. After the nameless game fades to white, the scene skips directly to the player, who expresses relief that the nightmare is finally over, before Ikuda speaks to them. After the credits, an on-screen message will say, Transfer complete. Implying that the curse has instead transferred to someone else. Topic. Development. The game's soundtrack was composed by Masayoshi Soken under the pseudonym Luis Noma, 
Ruizu Yijian Ruizu Noma, a name which in the game refers to the composer for the Cursed Games soundtrack. On 7 July 2008, Square Enix released a five-track EP of music from Nanashi no Game titled Nanashi no Game Sound, Nanashi no Jimu Yin Nanashi no Jimu On. As of September 30, 2008, Nanashi no Game has sold 60,000 copies in Japan. Reception Nanashi no Game scored 30 40ths by Famitsu Magazine. Sequels and spin-offs Nanashi no Game, Mi, Nanashi no Jimu Mu Nanashi no Jimu Mi, lit. Nameless Game, I, is a survival horror video game for the Nintendo DS, and the sequel to the original Nanashi no Game. It was developed by Epix, published by Square Enix, and released on August 27, 2009 in Japan. The story follows an anthropology student from Nanto University, as he discovers two cursed games, an RPG and a platformer. The game's title refers to the protagonist's left eye, represented by the left screen of the DS when held sideways, which allows the player to see things left and hidden by the curse. It sold 15,000 copies on the week of its release, much like in the original, Nanashi no game, Mi involves two separate modes of play. Most of the game takes place in the real world, where the player navigates real-time 3D environments using the DS's D-pad and touch screen. While exploring, the player must solve puzzles and reach locations. The player can switch to the TS menu at any time, where they can play the cursed game, read email messages, and load a previous save file. In many cases, an email message or update to the cursed game will interrupt the player's exploration. In the cursed game, which only uses the top DS screen, the player controls a 2D 8-bit RPG that provides clues to the current situations and can, in some cases, advance the story. In Nanashi no Game, Me, the player can now choose the locations they want to explore out of the two available for each day, for three days only. Each destination provides different experiences, including the regrets the player will encounter. Two spin off DSiWare titles, named Noroi no Game, Kai, Noroi no Jimu Shui Noroi no Jemu Kai, lit. Cursed Game, Blood, and Noroi no Game, Oku, Noroi no Jimu Yu Noroi no Jemu Oku, lit. Cursed Game, Prison respectively, have also been released on 9 September 2009. Another sequel, Nanashi no Apla, Nanashi no Huo Puri Nanashi no Apuri, lit. Nameless App, was released on 26 January 2012 for iOS, and in February 2012 for Android. 